All right, hello everybody. Today on my tech tips, I'm actually turning this around a little bit and it will be a tech question that I'm asking out there on the web. I have been trying to make some sense of this and make a video that kind of talked about, I think I told you I was gonna go through these and look at each tube and try and come up with a plan. I still think I have a plan. I'll tell you what the plan is, uh, but I would definitely love feedback from people out there that could maybe help make this make sense. I think it makes sense to me anyway, but it just seems weird from what I've seen with my other examples. So a lot of the values they've shown here, if I pick one of them, I'll go back and bring up the typical picture that I've had with my text editor or the graphical editor here. If I put that at that 0.25 amp rating, um, I think what, oh, what I did, sorry, I, I took the, a rating of say 100K. At 100K, the calculator gives me um, 250 volts divided by 100K. It gives me 2.5 milliamps. So if I pull up this graph, this that's what this line is. That's really low on the line. If you remember before, this kind of line here was closer to what I would see at the 100K, and then clear up here was 47K, but that's a 12X7, definitely different tube, definitely twin triode, but a different tube. So it, it makes me think though, these can handle much higher voltages. The, the data sheet shows the, if you go up a little more and look at them in the operating tube of what people would use them for a vertical or a horizontal oscillator, which is part of the way the TV tube would use it, it has really high voltage ratings and it's you know set to be hundreds, 400, 300, 400, 600 volts even. Uh, so I think maybe some of the reason this goes so high up in here is not for use for audio amplifier use. But uh, at any rate, I did decide to kind of think, what if I were to make this way high so that I get myself a little bit more um, what's the word on the amp? So, uh, well, one, I could potentially go to much higher voltages, 350, 400, but I was kind of hoping to keep this amp in lower voltage range most of the way, since they would be all smaller tubes. So I will probably end up uh, at least experimenting with uh, the 100K, like I said, but these, if you go up to something like 16 uh, milliamps instead of the what the other one was, I can actually show you, that would come up to, uh, if I had a 250 divided by 0 0.016, that's 16 milliamps, I get about 15K. So I could try a 15K anode resistor and I get a slope that's more like this. Um, and as I mentioned before, you generally want it a little lower on this level for wider uh, uh, magnification, but less, you end up getting kind of less, um, you get a little bit more noise, but you get a little bit more amplification out of it. So uh, that's where I kind of, I'm wondering, should I focus on cleaner headroom and go up really high with a lower anode resistor like this? Or should I try and keep it at that hundred or even some of them are way higher, clear down and probably be down in this range of amps. Uh, but I just found this play characteristics graph a bit weird. So I'm definitely going through the design, design phase. I think that these charts will work very well for what uh, I want to do. And I will possibly just experiment with several values. We'll take a, a 100K, 240K, a 510K anode resistors. And then some of these kind of cathode resistors they mentioned at about, I don't know, maybe it'll stick to 300 or 180 volts. Uh, but we'll, we'll be able to prototype this and, and I'll get some data about it. I'm getting some of that stuff ready, but I was just trying to do some of the math. I'm getting even a little confused myself. So. Hopefully what I've explained seems to make sense to everybody out there. It kind of does to me, but I would love for somebody to chime in and say, oh no, you're getting it wrong because, and, and help me, or say, oh yeah, you're absolutely right. Either way, hopefully all of us learn something in the process. So thank you everybody for coming along for one more tech tips, uh, the confused type this time. Uh, I appreciate you guys checking into this with me and helping me figure it out as well. So thanks everybody.